Is a four hour work week a pipe dream? Thanks for tuning in to Startup Life Support. I'm your coach, Aisha Cockburn. Now, most of us became entrepreneurs because we wanted to have more time to do the things we love to do, spend time with the people we care about, but chances are you're working harder now than ever before. So is work-life balance even possible for business owners? Well, first things first, I want you to throw out your old definition of work-life balance if it means all things being equal. Just think about all the different hats that you wear. Do you really think it's possible for you to give equal time and energy to all of those things at the same time, all the time? If you did, chances are you're just gonna suck at everything. Work-life balance is dynamic, it's ever-changing based on who and what needs us the most at any given time. So even though it may be changing and different for everybody, here are three things that can help. Number one, don't major in the minors. Do you really know what's important to your customers and family members, or are you stressing yourself out over things that they may not even care about? To give you an example, when I'm preparing for a speaking engagement, my house looks like a tornado went through it, but nobody in my house cares. In that moment, the most important thing is that I deliver a life-changing message for my audience, not perfectly folded laundry. Number two, build delegation into your business. Now, this is something I wish somebody would have told me seven years ago when I was getting started. Now, you may be wearing all the hats in your business right now, but is that where you wanna stay? I hope not. So you've got to learn to let stuff go. Step back, take a look. What are those tasks that are draining your time, draining your energy? You gotta figure out how to offload those and stop telling yourself that you can't afford it. You don't even know how much it costs yet. So find out. Go to sites like Fiverr and Elance. Look up some virtual assistants in your area that may be able to help give you some of that time back. And number three, fall in love with the word no. Doesn't matter how productive you are, we only have so many hours in a day. And so if you wanna spend more of that time on the people and the things that you love, you gotta learn to say no to some stuff. So let's just practice right now, shall we? Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three, no. That felt good, didn't it? Keep doing that. None of these tips are going to fix all of your work-life challenges because there always are going to be things that you can't control. But your role is to focus on the things that you can. Well, that's it for this week. Make sure that you like and share this video so that you can help some other folks get their lives in a sense of balance back too. And until next time, have a wonderful week on purpose.